Yeah. We should pay for this. What? This is from Mark Victor. Good morning. New product announcement. This week we're starting to roll out Meta Verify, a subscription <laughs> service that lets you verify your account with a government ID, get a blue badge, get an extra impersonation protection against accounts that claim to be you, and get direct access to customer support. This new feature is about increasing authenticity and security across our services. What's that for? What app? To, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all the ones that he owns. So Facebook and Instagram, I guess. Oh, um, this doesn't really help me. Because they're, they're just... Yeah, but once you verify it on there, you can really get it. Yeah, but then you get verified on that, and then they know it's me, and then they still just ban me for what I post on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wish I had a tea to drink. How about? Oh. Oh. I was just talking your thing like yeah, that. Yeah, I'll be kissing you then. Are you like, am I irresistible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'll just, I'll just have to talk in there. Stop trying to kiss me. <laughs> you're looking like you're gonna be going in for a peck. Well, the first one, what we're watching is, um, some shit. We're gonna react to another guy reacting to this stuff. I'm gonna talk in there. Uh, it's still coming up. It's still coming up. You got a loud voice. Pitchy, eh? Sexy. <laughs> so sexy. All right, here we go. Let's react to this doll. Ah! <laughs> right. I thought that was me. I was so, <laughs> I was so confused. How would you done that with your mind? No, I thought that was me in the video. Oh. I was so confused for ages. I was like, what's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Second. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never skip vein deep. Pinching my vein out. Kings, I'm gonna try to pinch my vein out. Hashtag love veins. Yes, it exists. Introducing Raphael Zelka. I don't know if I like these guys' opinions, but it's so fast paced, it's like mind mm. yeah, stained. I read you as a mobile super f fake natural. Sorry, supernatural, obviously. Who is still posting his most fake on that? Jimmy, who are we? Him. He could be Natty. He doesn't have big steroid traps, but he could also be on roids. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I reckon roids. He's supernatural, obviously. <laughs> who is still posting his motivational Natty journey? That could be Natty. He could be. I've met, I've met people who are, he's got a big chest, but he could be natural. It could be Natty. It could be Natty. He I don't do be. bodybuilding workouts, and like I feel like... You know, like, if you're doing bodybuilding workouts, you could produce that. Just to preface this, I've been in the industry for over 10 years. I've met a lot of bodybuilders. Yeah, it's seems possible. Yeah, that is possible, natural. He looks young, though, which would be my only... Like, if he's, like, 18, that's a lot of muscle for a young guy. But it could just be his genetics. He could just be a freak. Yeah, that is a lot of muscle for a young guy. <laughs> Huge, huge arms. Yeah. The, the, but it's possible, man. That's possible. He doesn't have a blocky waist and he doesn't have massive bodybuilder traps. So, like, yeah, yeah. he could be natural. I don't know. This is possible. If you're squatting, doing huge chest workouts, yeah. stuff, it's possible, man. But I think that's probably the limit. Do you think, I think I want to buy your training app after... And he's probably not natty, but it's possible. Seeing <laughs> your achievable natural results. Social media misinfluencer 101. Juice as a teenager. Lie to people about it. Get sponsored by generic gym company. Sell supplements people don't need and sell an app. Oh, My the same guy. That was all the same guy. Nah, he's got to be warm. Where was I? Ralph. He's just shredded to the point that his blood vessels want a day out of the beach. How do you get your vein? That can be natural. Yeah, that can be natural. Low body fat, workout, age. genetics. Mm -hmm. And so um, the guy claims six... That's true. Hey, that looks natural to That me. is natty. Yeah, that's yeah. natural. Yeah. Seven percent body fat. <laughs> and he's... he's lacking bits. Like, yeah. Look, bits look deflated. Like that would be more round on a steroid guy. Yeah. It's low body fat, being lean, genetics, yeah. building muscle, which requires blood flow, maybe gym pump before pictures. That is how vascularity is achieved. Importantly, remember no, this, I'm for social media vascular. pictures, vascularity is also achieved by that common sense health protocol of dehydration. When you see a fitness model on a magazine... I think, 
I think vascularity is genetics or something. Yeah, it is. Everyone has a different map of veins in their body and where they go. It's completely like up to genetics. It's different for everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Presenting the country of vascular, be aware, they're probably extremely dehydrated. Ralph's just been on the testosterone. I knew I was in trouble the minute I said that. And I want to thank everyone for watching the last video. And please understand. This guy is hitting that, um, that whingy vein. You know, he complains about everything. Yeah. Which is fun to work on. Whenever yeah. I make a video about supplements, I have your best interests in mind. I don't sell supplements. I never will. I have no skin in the game apart from trying to give you ethical communication that can help you. Trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert. Stand up for myself. He threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Or what I call TikTok has eroded my brain. Do you need something? Do you need something? Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. I'll say it. Yeah, why she's I like such an angry what the lady? Just keep pushing me. Keep it pushing. Unless it's a delivery room in a hospital or my toilet after a dodgy kebab, the phrase keep pushing should never be used. She's so smug too. Look at her fucking smug. And the bit where she has to text old oh, damn herself, we didn't actually say that, that would be the bit that I would reconsider uploading. Did she, she edited that in the video of like the zoom in of the guy turning like yeah. that and just having a brief look because she was just making a scene to it. Yeah, I reckon him and his mate just looked at each other and went. What the fuck? Look at that crazy video. Is, is this a good idea? Hashtag publish. That awkward moment when the guy's actually the trainer in the gym. I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Well, he must look at hundreds of members a week because you know, he works there. I mean, the dude glances over his shoulder for a second from a fair distance yeah. away. If people work in a gym, they are allowed to look at members. Are we at that stage now? Do I have to write this down for TikToklets? Next. It doesn't stop anyone in, in our yeah, gym. gym. And you know what? Well, I look at everyone. I'm like, what are they doing? Oh, that's a good exercise. What are they doing? Oh, cool. It's just like, get over yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rerack your weights and don't use benches as weights and oil is for cooking. Can we have a sign saying trainers are allowed to use their eyeballs at their place of work? And whilst I'm there, Matthias McKinnon, congratulations. To my amazement, you've managed to make your gym comedy even more. <laughs> These guys are just old in the back. Why? Mm. <laughs> I like them. Stupid. The human squats are about the most pathetic attention-seeking fitness influencer poster. What are these guys doing? <laughs> They're just holding They're up. They're just in there ever seen but it is a fun activity to do with friends i don't think that's what they mean by training partners caption that what a plank you don't own the gym to which my response would have been exactly look in the mirror that was layered but what is perverted in another sense is this type of stuff we're seeing in the gym and it's not easy being a personal trainer it is grueling to build a client base and to label him a pervert and upload it on all that it's just not okay. Should we be making fun out of this clip? Absolutely, yes. Okay, I thought so. Pretentious nonsense like this should be roasted. And so there's a bloke called Joey Swole. He's a recovering addict. And his page is all about positivity and being kind to each other in the gym. Boring, just joking. Bro making all this noise to bench 185. Press, there you go. How many kilos is that? 185 pounds. I don't know. Come on, you got this, let's go. Press, come on. Making fun of a kid because he can only bench 185, then making fun of his form in the comments and attacking his workout partner for motivating and pushing him. I wish I had a workout partner that pushed me like that. Why I will never judge beginners in the gym. I was once one too. First off to this amazing young woman, absolute inspiration. Your transformation is fantastic. This guy's wisdom just seems to be having love to give. Yeah. He seems to have love for everybody. I've been following Joey Swell since 2011. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, he's smart. <laughs> and I love the message you're putting out there. The idea that it's become trendy or cool, or that you think you're better than somebody because... If he cuts that in his eyebrow, you know. Yeah. Because you're know. bigger, you it's stronger, or have a better body. What do you reckon? You reckon that's a... I don't know. Maybe it's a scar. Looks like it's indented. It's unfortunate if it's a them needs to stop. It is the definition of toxic gym culture. And he's become very popular by basically no, I'm hating on you because you're following him, I think. Teaching people how to behave you know how in the gym and based? stop what he terms to no. Hey, I reckon he's five foot seven. You reckon or you know? No, I know. He's very short. Thick gym culture, or what I call I'm confiscating your phones. When you try to you catch a, you get a bubbly or fuller look when you're a shorter guy. I think they're stronger too, they get short levers, so they don't have to go as far, you know, mm. and they can get like real explosions. So it's funner. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. It's a bit harder when you get the long limbs and the... 
the glute pump, but instead you capture an unwarranted stare from a male who... Oh. That is crazy! <laughs> Get she's, a grip! She's looking at it. If I did any kind of pose <gasps> in the mirror, I would think, I would, you know, I'd be, of course people are going to watch it. This is so crazy. I'm actually so lucky no girls have filmed me looking at them because I always look. I'm like, oh, I like her shorts. What's she doing? Like... Yeah, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on. These people are dumb. Probably had they. Daughter, yeah, your age. Talking. This man did nothing wrong. He's in a public gym, minding his own business, getting a great workout in, and you decide to film him and shame him on social media to make yourself out to be a victim, which you're not for... Why is this guy the voice of reason? It's so weird. He's the only one I doing just... it, I think. Yeah, that's what, what, what the fuck? Like... Isn't that sad, all these girls just, like, wanting to make it out like they're so, like, so crazily attractive that these men can't handle themselves around them? Like, it's come, just live your life. Wishful thinking, eh? Yeah, just live your life. Stop thinking about everyone else thinking about you. Like, yeah, it's attention. Really You're in the middle of a gym, sticking oh. your butt out, trying to take a selfie, which you don't see every day, and he happened to look over at you for oh. a brief second. For and you good. label him as... That you know what he was thinking? Right. He was going, oh, another one. Like, he wasn't... That wasn't a, like, look her up and down, sexual stare. That was a, oh, she's feeling herself. Like, it's not... Yeah, I think you're probably right. I didn't... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is making me... <laughs> ruining my brain. A pervert? <laughs> so you want attention and to feel like a victim all at the expense of women that are... It's like they're just so desperate to... It's like a... It's like a sexual validation thing. Actually harassed in gyms. And I think it's funny that you say he may have a daughter your age. Did you think about that? Behave yourself. I'm making glute pump t-shirts. It's been established that gym mirrors are for bicep curls. It's like they want someone to acknowledge that they look good so bad that they're willing to do it, like, pretending to complain about it. Yeah. Seems that way. Like, it really seems like what they're trying to signal is, look, guys can't resist looking at my amazing body yeah and i don't like it i'm just trying to do me um, yeah, whatever. Whatever. come on and so i'm unofficially offering my services as your tiktok editor i'm going to make you a first class influencer here's my finished product <laughs> Yeah. We're going all the way to the top. What we would all do. Congrats, bro. <laughs> for a day at an empty gym. Name something that's more rare than the gym being empty. I'll wait. A positive review for V-Shred. So Joey's thing is just to not secretly film people in the gym and upload it to shame them. When in most cases, they're not really doing much wrong or in a very minor things that may. What do you think about this look? That's steroids. So that's what I was saying before. See how his traps are huge? It's just that bubbly trap look to me is just signifies steroids, and that's like up to them. They can do steroids if they want. Yeah, like, does it does it have power to it or nothing? Like, I want you to be like honest, honest with me. Like, if if someone's like, you know, obviously this is par. Like, for me as a dude, like once you cross over a certain point, it looks like a fake butt or something. It looks like. Yeah, not no. Real, As someone who's trained in the gym and like knows what it is to train and stuff, like no, it's not attractive. It looks like it's not dynamic. It looks like you can't do anything with it. Um, that's it though. It's up to other people are into it. Whatever. Mm. To me, it doesn't look like um, what's the word? S strong. It doesn't signify strength to me. Yeah. But it does take hard work to get that much muscle, even if you're using steroids. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think we need to drop it. I think there's a real steroid drug problem and it's like really destroying these dudes. Yeah. And I think, yeah. It affects their testosterone, their natural testosterone production. Like that's not a good idea. You yeah, know? like when they, when they get on it like this, you're committing to replacing your hormones forever. Yeah, So you ne much. you're never going to have a natural expression of hormones how it's intended. You're always going to have some synthetic weird balance until you die yeah but like and you it's, said it's like a fake butt you know like these girl, girls are allowed to get fake lips fake boobs fake butts you have to take drugs to keep your butt in yeah there's that you know it's, yeah there's that <laughs> it, and, and like you take like a guy takes a thing of uh, testosterone and it's like people don't consider it like a drug but I'm watching dudes cycles change and they're different and they act different and they're 
You know what I mean? It yeah. changes their energy and yeah. shit. Changes their thinking and it's like a drug. It's like drugs, drugs, real drugs. Mm, I don't know, man. Starting to think like uh, people need to start speaking up against it, especially with Joe Rogan. Like, talk, like PEDs has slipped in as a acceptable steroid, but it's still just steroids. Yeah. PEDs is like hormone replacement therapy. And EPO and stuff. Like, yeah, 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 but yeah. I feel like they're just using hormone replacement therapy as an excuse to just do steroids. You yeah. Know, they're just, yeah. For someone like Joe Rogan to talk about it, though, he's a man in his 50s. He would have, like, his testosterone would have been dropping. That's not the same as the average 18 to 25-year-old dude in the gym Yeah, but that listen, has natural amounts of testosterone. Like, this, it's not the same thing. This is the thing. I think Joe has short man syndrome, right? And he wants to look like a beast and he has body dysmorphia and he's taking all these drugs to be a man. But like if he was throwing axes and just ate all the elk that he was doing and stayed natural, I feel like he would have a, he'd be scarier. He'd be like more, uh, I think there's. Uh, he's pretty dynamic and flexible. Like he does do, he can do the splits and stuff, you know, like I respect that. He's kept himself dynamic with his could age. Could he do all that without steroids? Oh, I'd hope so. I nah. fucking hope so. <laughs> yeah, I really believe he could. Hmm. I don't know. You know, it is what it is. People can do what they want. Yeah. But uh, I just feel like it's very, uh, like, teenagers are just jumping on steroids like it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really awful for teenage boys. They definitely shouldn't be doing it. This guy, you know, this kind of triggered me because this guy's a role model. Like, oh, yeah, it looks so big. But yeah. that looks, everything I just said, you know, that's what I say. I just drug problem. Yeah. Body just small if you have that. You've got to remember too, he's, he'd be like in his late 30s. So he's had years and years and years and years of training. You know, like people get this in their head that they don't look like their role models instantly. But it takes like over 10 years. You know, it takes a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, like when I was, um, when I was like 22, I was, it's, it's like where you get big and puffy real quick, but it doesn't turn to like hard, like dense muscle like yeah. that. And you lose sixty percent of it when you're in your off cycle, and then they get all sad. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't keep that. Boy. Yeah. Can't keep that. But if you are on a hormone chain forever, you've committed to take drugs forever. Yeah. Then I guess. Yeah. Hopefully, it picks up my voice, man. Sure, it will. Be annoying other people, and I talk Same about this like all the time. This important thing. distinction between, for example, influencers who self-upload nonsense for love hearts, like yeah. Matthias, are fair game. Fake natties are fair game. Influencers selling bad supplements are fair game. I'm going to roast you for being attention-seeking gym clown influencers. People just doing an exercise, perhaps slightly wrong, or you know, minding That's their own right. business, yeah, not planning to upload it, and just that. exercising, don't deserve to be yeah. secretly filmed and uploaded to social That's media. Right. Someone help my man with it. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that at all. Form. Form over ego, SMH. Or secretly filming. Look, um, that's horrible form, but leave him alone. It's um, not you, like, leave him alone. This is not ideal, but I have watched Russian lectures on the natural curve of the spine, and as usual, I think everyone overreacts in the fitness industry, mm. and this is a natural, uh, it can be done. Posture, it's like not going to yeah. just snap your back in half. Yeah. Like, we're, our bodies are designed how they're intended. Um, but yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. I just watched, I watched a Russian thing. I watched a Russian thing and now we're doing that. Yeah. yeah but I don't want to say it's fine, but uh, you know. Me, what looks like a beginner, a young guy who's just Especially trying to get if healthier. Just, if he's just starting. He looks young. Like, leave him alone. Let him grind it out and then tighten up. Yeah, and he'll start to feel where's sore and where to tense and stuff like I that. Think, I think I did a few of these today. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. Know? Performing a good exercise but doing it slightly wrong, help him then. Ask a trainer to help him or people doing something yeah. that you just don't understand, which is naturally wrong. Hashtag embarrassing. What do you think he's doing? What do you think he's working? Biceps. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing the upright row, you stupid bitch. Get a sticker. The fucking upright row. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I know so much about the gym. Leave him alone. Why don't people just mind their own business? Yeah, it's trying to flex power. It's people that don't have any power and they're trying to flex power, I think. And uh, moving your body at all in any way, little or small, under resistance is great. She looks like she's a fitness professional, right? She's got like a proper fitness photo shoot or whatever. She looks like she's a fitness professional. Trying to be. Which yeah. means if she's sponsored or she's representing any type of place, this would be the opposite of what I would want 
representing yeah, me. Yeah, that's true. That's Some true. bitchy lady just ragging on people in the gym. You're supposed to be walking around and lifting people up. Like if you're in that industry, mm. what are you thinking? You can't just be hateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's failing at what she's trying to do. Yeah. She? You're supposed to help people. Yeah, you stupid bitch. What he's working is biceps. He's doing what's called a drag. Tell him, Joey. Now, granted, most people do them with a barbell. He's doing them with dumbbells, so it may look a little strange, a little awkward, but it is a great movement. But what's most important, what he's doing and working most of all, is minding his own business. I like drag curls, by the way. Or even worse, purposefully humiliating a beginner. What's wearing your grandpa's loafers? My soul grows struggling with his PR. So I asked if I could hop in. Dick. <laughs> this guy sucks. <gasps> wow. Biggest pet peeve. Or oh, this dude Myron for his gym shark. That guy sucks. Yeah, that's just not nice. It's just, it's just oozing. You can see what he wants. You can yeah. see what he's trying to virtue. And he it's picked just... someone who's obviously weaker than him that he could try to make feel like crap. To make himself feel better, and that's just a bad person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, yeah, someone with good intentions would try to encourage that kid that was struggling on the bar, and what he did isn't encouragement. No, he could have gone over to him and gone, hey, try breathing out as you pull up, you know? Mm. You'll get it. Yeah. Get it, bro. Fucking get it, guys. Sponsorship. Like that, Life lesson, lads. Don't film your aesthetic bra video in a place where we all get naked, eh? Would you be mad about that? If you put your phone down to film you, like right in front of the sink and it's busy and then some guys come in and wash their hands, would you be mad? No. No, you wouldn't. No, of course not. You gotta... I'd uh, be like, oh, sorry, don't worry, I didn't get you, like... I, well, yeah, I'm an, I'm an internet guy and I've never felt like I have the right to do stuff in public. I always, yeah. I always try to find my moments and... Um, well, they don't encringe on anyone. Yeah, yeah, you can find moments to get you. You don't want to accidentally film my hairy lower back. That will not get you likes. The changing rooms, the place to shower and change, which used to be self-explanatory before social media. Mike O'Hearn's sarcastic fake natty pump comment made absolutely no sense. If Phil Heath blocked me when I had that fake natty pump sarcastic dot dot dot, only one of us would be weave in that bathroom. And you're allowed to mock Mike O'Hearn's comments <laughs> because he na- What does that say? Mike. <laughs> he just... We're gonna fake natty fool. That's just... And he wrote it as well. Yeah, so maybe like, it just auto-corrected to like a couple words and made it like... Yeah. And so very seriously, it's come to the point where gyms need to start enforcing rules on people secretly filming others. Next, yeah, this is why you can't have nice things. Yeah, we're not allowed to in our gym. Yeah, eh? in Australia, you actually can't just film people without their consent. Yeah, we always get told that. I think like the laws might be the same, but the, the gyms have enough common sense to ask us not to. Yeah, and in Australia, if someone sees you filming them, you're going to fight, you might fight, so... You just, you don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, we have a, yeah. Everyone's pretty courtesy. Uh, yeah. Courteous. Jim Scorsese's making their cinematic masterpieces and the extras being so rude as to walk across their shot. Do I stand so far away then? What the fuck? For oh, things called smartphones, right. people are... Or doing dumb things with them. When you're recording, I hope this fucking mic's picking this up. I think it will be. The guy's name. I think she's wearing the same sports bra as me. <sighs> oh Self and someone walks by and ruins it. What up? Top set 100 kilograms, seven to eight reps achieved on camera cost the dumb. You're in public. These people are. Stupid. Walked in front of it. People can film themselves, that's fine. Maybe charting their progress, maybe looking at their exercise execution, maybe just to become an Instagram legend. What up? But you can't call people dumb bitches or a cunt for walking across your shot. Save that for the office Christmas party. And due to Joey making his call out slash teaching manners videos, people who've uploaded videos like that in some cases have removed their videos, implying they've learned their lesson. So there is a product. Imagine being Joey. And I guess he's got a hell of a following, so. Um, you know, so you can get his opinion out there. But imagine being Joey, calling him out, and then these girls are responding, apologising, and pulling mm. the stuff down. You'd feel like a badass. Like, cause he's, Good, they should be, because it's the wrong way to think. He's stitching it, going, this is how it is. And yeah. And going, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. A lot of them aren't. <laughs> Outcome from these critique videos. And so for balance... Go ahead. You're fine. You're fine. No, you're fine. 
Being nice is so attractive. Yeah, that's way better. Way better. So much better. Like, if only these people knew being nice, like, makes people like you. Mm. <laughs> it's crazy. I've never apologized for watching my videos. We're in a couple of <laughs> Guys, I love this video. Next. I like yeah. to keep yeah. my side Qu Regular. That's yeah. a regular person. Exactly. She's just like, don't worry about it. Because yeah. it isn't a big deal. That's a normal. She still got her video. Yeah, that's a normal person. Yeah. Yay. Conservative during the week. And then mass blast on the weekend. <laughs> Social media has given self-proclaimed fitness influencers the right to peddle absolute garbage to people. Again, I'm going to give not a doctor, Tiny Huge. And Tiny has just started making his mass blast videos on YouTube. What is mass blast, you may be asking? Well, mass blast is the most extreme bodybuilding protocol to put on the most amount of muscle in the shortest amount of time. I've been thinking. We seek to put on more than 20 pounds of lean mass in- There seems like a lot of room in the market for fitness gimmicks and plans and stuff. Well, his shirt says it all. He's on steroids. I would bet lots of money that dude is on some steroids. Like his traps say it. He's like, he, he's, on, he's on the juice, that guy. If he's not, he's a beast. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm prepared to be wrong, but I reckon that guy's on the juice for sure. Just seeing his traps and his um, jaw. He fucking, his jaw. Yeah. I guess, does, does, does your jaw grow from Yeah, stuff? if you're on HTH. Just nine days. Mass blasting huge amounts of compounds in a very short amount of time. I've weighed a lot more than this before, but ever since. That's the move, man. That's the move. Big compounds. Yeah. Make love to them. Yeah, compound movements are the best. They are the bomb. Yeah. You gotta make sweet love to them. You do, because people. Yeah. Yeah. I had the Rona. I wasn't able to get my weight back. It took a blast could, for me to get the weight back. He could be natty. I mean, yeah, I guess I could have done it you know, over a long period of time by increasing my calories and eating a bodybuilding diet and having regular training. But why would I do all that when I could just take the chemistry for nine blast days and get all of my mass back, right? And mass blast is being used by two donuts who for some reason follow this man, Cody and Elon. No, not that one. There are no shortcuts, just hard work. That's what everybody says, right? To say that this is gonna be easy, it's really not. Cody in the hospital while Elon gets huge. Cody's blood sugar is way out of control, like a type one diabetic in the worst possible condition. This could have some serious short-term and long-term health effects. Boss Dr. Tiny narrates it like it's a National Geographic program. And what a surprise, the blast days have led to a guy having dangerous levels of blood sugar and having to be admitted to a medical clinic because the safety precautions were so rigorous. You want to be safe during the mass blast? Here's what you need to do. Are they getting people to take their blood pressure? First, we're going to take your blood pressure. Yeah. Then we yeah, so they're doing blood sugar and blood pressure. But then what? Then but they your know blood that sugar. The two biggest risk factors of the mass blast hyperplasia protocol are elevated blood pressure and elevated blood sugar. Keep those in line for a healthy mass blast experience. And I wonder if his mass blast experience is what's driving their blood pressure and blood sugar up. That's how you stay healthy during the mass blast. Someone needs to mass blast you with some brain cells, fellas. But this time's a little bit different. There's a lot more on the line this time. There's a competition between Elon and I to see who can put on the most amount of muscle. And the person who wins gets $5,000. Not only is risking your health not worth $5,000 of that man's monopoly money, or even to get on TV, sorry, I mean a self-published YouTube channel, but we- Well, this is what I was saying about the, the steroid problem. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's weird. That's a bit crazy. It's just this philosophy, this type of philosophy, you know. Do have core steroids have always been around, but they were frowned upon. Now the the answer. Yeah, and they were all hush hush and secret secret, and oh, so and so does it with so and so, and it was usually like a, a man in his forties, you know, yeah. using it in the background, trying to keep his his shit going, you know. It but seemed to turn over at some point from like into. Steroids are necessary to get where I want. Um, to have a body that gets people's attention online, it's worth it. Mm. I think they're making these conclusions very early, like teenagers are going, well, I want a career, yeah. and they think it's necessary. The easiest path as well. They see it as the easiest. As they were saying in this advertisement, like I could up my calories and train for 10 years and then I'd get there. Or I could do this easier path. But it has more, you know, negative side effects that way. Yeah. Just like everything. 
Yeah, the thing is, how are you going to get an audience if you're the same juice set as everyone? Yeah. In the modern day, really, you're going to you're gonna get an audience if you do it the right way and develop like a crazy natural physique. Then you'll get people's attention. Yeah, that's true. I am a... Nary tales in the past, such as Rich Piana. Come on, guys. I hope I get picked up on there. Oh, well. Kicking myself for I only just now. discovered you and your... 20 seconds out. Content, mate. Your honesty and your take on things are super effing refreshing in a very dishonest, weak world. He comments to the bloke who injects teenagers with Psalms. Um, you want to do another one? Yeah, I've got time. I've got heaps of time. Okay, let's do another one. Um, similar. Let's go. Similar. Let's go to this guy's channel. And... Anabolic idiocy. Dear Liver King. Or never skip gym. Idiocy. Anabolic oh, idiocy, okay. please. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. I could talk about this topic all day because like I, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sending it to the black hole. Yeah, follow Joey Swell's missus, by the way, as well. And they, I'll show you, they're cute. Oh, I won't show you now. Good. Um, you can, we've got a second. Show me. We've got, it's only 20, 28%. Um, it's a good chance to say, um, check out our weekend vlog, if you haven't checked that out. Joey Swole, 2.3 million. Yeah, lots and lots. Oh, CEO of Gym Positivity now. That's a good idea. He put up a thing with his missus. Let's see his missus. Is it this one? Yeah, that one. Look at her. She's mm, so jacked. She's jacked. Yeah. Well, there's the steroid ads, you know. I don't, she doesn't look like she's on steroids to me. All right, um, here we go. Oh, let it go. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. Fuck yeah. Steroid something idiocy. Anabolic idiocy or something. Let's go. Nine minutes. Hello, I'm James, and I get my five to one BCAAs from Olympia Medalists. Steroids or not steroids? Steroids. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her traps. She's oh, yeah. smokes. See the... You know, because you know if there's know. anything that I take away... You've got a man, Joe, you reckon? I don't want to say that. I just say that, like, you know, they, they seem to get extended facial features. From what? Big ass jaw. And noses and, and In that ears. training footage, it's the importance of BCAAs. Oh. <laughs> to be clear, if you are an Olympia competitor of any kind and you are selling BCAAs to your fans, unless you're using the empty tub to put your needles in, a glorified pen holder, if you will. But on the flip side of that, she is clearly elite at what she's she does. So dedicated, dead. incredibly hardworking, and it is a sport, of course. That I fully true. understand that. It's just, dear IFBB pros, stop selling shit to your fans. It's January 2023. Tired of being fat and... It is fair. It is fair. It's so obvious. We all know. So say what you're doing and say the side effects as well. Yeah. Be honest. Yeah, be honest. Uh, show us how hard it is and what you have to go through to get there instead of pretending that you aren't going through anything. Yeah. You know, because, yeah. Air it all out. Then everyone will respect them for all the shit they have to go through for the thing. Yeah. But can't leave it unsaid because kids, yeah, they're like, oh, the BCAs. That's well, what the I'm function doing. of steroids is to increase your rate of repair, right? So you still have to tear the muscle fibers. You still have to work really hard to have something to repair. And you have to do that really consistently. But you can't pretend that's from anything else. Yeah. And, you know, I, I've done some steroids. You get juiced up and you, uh, it's easier. Yeah. But when you're in there, it's just Well, yeah, because your recovery just doesn't exist. Yeah. You're just done. You finish your workout and there you go. And then you can yeah, just do another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it works. 
ugly. Just be ugly. You see, I find that funny <laughs> and accurate. 24 Fitness has my vote. Welcome to Never Skip Safe. That's a gym Oh ad. yeah, tired of being, being fat and ugly. Just be ugly. Yeah. Day. I think that's a great one. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. Definitely. What? <laughs> why? Why is he wearing... Why? That safe word being leg day. He's been on the Bilzerian workout program in more ways than one. He'll be quarter repping his lunch in no time. Someone get that man a Nutri Bullet. Why do they do that to themselves? Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand that. Do men feel the same way when they look at girls who have like super, super big lips and like super, super fake boobs and like, oh, yeah. is it the same thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as it goes out of reckoning. As soon as it goes out of natural looking. I think people need to try harder for their social media fame. Talking of which, Fitly was at it at the World Cup again. But I think it's like a stripper, you know? You know you're getting bamboozled, but people still do it. Mm. Things, it's true. Things like that. But I never liked strippers because it is fake, you know? Well, that was messy. Thank you very much. Bro, I'm sure if you put effort into something new, you could make a comeback. It's not 2014. We've seen this before and are not impressed anymore. Bitterly budget cable TV coming to a sporting event near you soon. Where was I? No, to be fair, that's just classic multitasking. As is this. POV someone attempting to use a machine you're already using. So not only does she not allow that other lady Excuse to train, she then posts it to the socials to criticise. Yeah, you're not using that. You're actually using the lap pull down. And for politely asking you if she it. could use another machine that you were not using at that time because you were using another machine whilst reserving that machine for your supersets. <laughs> whilst filming yourself. Just a classic case of don't disturb me. Oh, I thought she was asking if she was using this machine. No, she's telling her not to get on the other machine. She's saying, yeah. I'm using that machine, don't get on it, whilst yeah. simultaneously using a different machine. Yeah, you just don't ask. Yeah, I wouldn't. You jump in <laughs> If there. it's empty, you can come and ask me to move, and then I'll say, yeah, in a sec. <laughs> it's not her machine. No. You can only... People... Yeah, whatever. Influencer? I knew it. Your friend. Friend. Unless you want to use a machine that she's reserved, in which case... <laughs> Not so friendly. And here's the thing yeah, with supersets. They're I hard am. to do in a busy but, gym. Yeah, a perhaps the easier way to do it in a busy gym is to use body weight. So for example, if you're doing an agonist antagonist superset, for example, if you're performing barbell bent over row, supersetting them with push-ups, that would be far more doable, efficient, and respectful to other people in the gym also. You can't reserve two machines at the same time, unless you own your own gym and you're yoked at 51. Mark Wahlberg's the sick guy. Yeah. I, 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 yeah like, I, I like his energy, and I like uh, what he puts out there all the time. Yeah. Get ready for Christmas holiday. Big laps. Give it to me. And probably Natty. Yeah, he looks I, no, he looks like he could be Natty. I believe him. He's got that attitude where he would have worked out this whole time. Mm -hmm. He's got like a, a good attitude. He's yeah. always working out. He looks pretty natty. Yeah, he looks right. I wouldn't be surprised if he took some Hollywood stuff, but um, have you seen his uh, most recent uh, transformation? He oh. he's put on heaps of body fat for his role. He got oh, like, really? he got super super fat in like a few weeks, and um, he was drinking straight oil and stuff. I saw. Oh gosh, that's not good for you. Yeah, he packed on. That would have been really bad for him. Yeah. But they would have doctors and stuff like like um, you know, monitoring their lipids and their cholesterol and all yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think you can play games, but. Yeah, it's not good for you. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> We got a new bag. Well, that wasn't weird. Ned Flanders 2.0. I mean, he looks great and I do like Mikey Mark, but that was cringier than Daddy's Home 2. Or cringier than just maybe another Natty Legend. Lifetime Natural Pro Flexible Dieting Hacker. How do you hack flexible dieting? Is it Control Alt Delete? What does that do? Building physiques into Greek god statues? DM me legend to start. Boy, legend. Question I always get is how to develop a back like it was carved from stone. Humble and definitely not roids. Here's what going primal will do for you. Not again. <laughs> primal. And so thank you for watching the last video. And thank Oh, that's it. Oh, no. We got more. Uh, I like the Liver King. For those of you who... He lied. That broke my heart. I know, dude. It really disappointed you. <laughs> he, he, uh, yeah, I was seeing him as a natural role model. Fuck her. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be the natural role model, babe. Yeah, but he's still awesome. To my new channel, when it had no videos on it at all, same thing, I like his energy, he just lied the fuck up.
That's what I call a leap of faith. It's just a bit of fun, not to be taken too seriously. And so I recognize some of the names there. Jeffrey, who's just hit 100,000 subscribers. Congratulations to you on your success. TikTok subscribed to me, which I was not expecting. Just when you thought you'd seen everything. He got 99 problems, but the shirts ain't one. Well, that's one way to save on wardrobe space. I've got a flipping bed in mind for some reason. He's put on all his clothes to look yoked. Khan Baba, the Pakistani Hulk. Wait. This guy claims to be the strongest man ever. Let's see it 961 then. pounds strong man or fake. Where's his neck? <laughs> Can I phone a friend? 28 year old, also known. He looks like a fucking big boy. 436 kilos. In the name of Khan Baba and the Pakistan. He's a big boy. I've seen a, f a bunch of videos and he's massive. How Hulk tall is he? Claims to be 960. He's way bigger than other people. Pounds and the strongest man on the planet. Haters will say it's fake weights, fake pants. Like Mr. Incredible. Where do you get fake That's pans classic. from? That deserves a subscribe in itself. The irony that a website called Bro Science is selling test boosters. And so Khan Baba called out Eddie Hall, who responded, I am the strongest man, Eddie Hall. I prove it to you right now. By showing him the cleanest kitchen in history. Someone's been using their Sillet Bang. Billy! And so certainly not a gym idiot, but one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, who's very sadly had so many medical issues since his retirement. What I didn't really realize is that he's still posting gym content. Training at 4 a.m. in the morning is great. No interruptions and no one to ask how long you're going to be on that machine. Still on the grind after all this time in rehabilitation, just doing what I love to do more than anything in the world. The best hobby ever and lifestyle and financial way of living. Life doesn't get to much better than this, especially at 5am. Once again, it's on because, oh yeah, it ain't over, Emma. I'm just interested to know your thoughts. How old's Ronnie? I'm googling it right now. How old is Ronnie Coleman? How old do you think he is? He divides debate. 68. Well, you just said it and I think he said 68. I think he said 68. I don't know. But it's terms of the health of the sport he is participating in, but I certainly do think that there's many sides to this story. I did find someone who needs the wardrobe's deadlift coaching, however. Well, OE Fitness has. For clear referencing, I found some of these clips from his page. Look at this guy's physique, it's different. He's fucking... Is it real, do you think? Like, is this guy who's wearing that blow-up thing, so he just, like, think that's what's under his clothes? Yeah, I guess We're going to need him to take his shirt off, aren't we? Yeah, we need to see under this. He's been posting like a boss. That guy's punishment is he actually has to re-rack all those weights. Yeah. Ain't nothing worse. You can't be doing That's that what I call an unintentional either. work. He looks like, yeah. He looks like he's not even close. Yeah. How do you get all those weights on there without... Oh, you call that a deadlift? Introducing how many genii does it take to lift a bar? and the fourth official to check it was a legit lift and all that shrugging oh i'm all, i'm with that i'm with that because you think that's a forced rep yeah i'm with that because yeah. could be his last rep like yeah most of it's on this guy mm. and he's just he wants to get the weight up with an assist rep and this guy's doing hardly anything he's just keeping and this is just a this is like a uh, like on a like a bench press thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that that's just an assisted rep. That's just a forced rep. Might be his last one in his set. You know, his mate, his mates making sure his back isn't all messed up. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah. That's a pass from from me. Yeah. Three and the fourth official to check it was a legit lift and all that. Shrugging my shoulders. So who remembers this bloke, the Natty King? <gasps> Incredibly. What was it? What did he do? I don't know. He's become an influencer. <laughs> right down to the standing on the plates for some reason. Come on, don't be greedy and hog all the plates. This guy needs some more. He's also just invented... Yeah. What's that, a neck squat? <laughs> Supersetted with some functional patterns. No fucking no steroids. No. <laughs> I like his energy too. <laughs> Just let him do his thing. Oh, this sucks. 
We have Michael Chandler on the show. I'm aware that he would completely... His form sucks, but... Kill me and... sucks on them. Are you reckoning Bradley again? Martin. Who's Bradley Martin? Um, remember, he's like, uh... When we used to hang out with Troy and stuff and when we on the natural bodybuilding scene, Bradley Martin was like a famous bodybuilder. And he was like, um... He's a very famous, smart, uh, natural bodybuilding coach. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Eviscerate me in a physical altercation, but when it comes to science, I'm a f***ing ninja. And so here is Lane critiquing UFC fighter oh. Mike. What name did I say? Bradley Martin. Bradley Martin. No, that's not Bradley Martin. Something lame, I guess, but it's the guy I'm thinking of, though. I've got the name of. Okay. Chandler's information on carbs. Please give me your input. At all. Carbs are the enemy. Carbs are the enemy. If anybody wants to lose weight, go a month without eating starchy carbs. 100% off of it. You don't, you don't need it. The food pyramid yeah. made by a guy out of Minnesota who had ties to the wheat industry. So it was just, we were sold a, a huge lie. People didn't actually follow the food guide pyramid. Yes, they increased their starchy carbohydrate consumption, but they did not increase their consumption of fruits and vegetables. They did not decrease their consumption of sugar. They did not decrease their consumption of added oils. In fact, they added more. And they did not decrease their consumption of calories. They added more. And if we look at the human randomized control trials, where they equate calories and protein and look at the amount of weight loss and fat loss, what they see is absolutely no difference between low carb diets and low fat diets. Again, I respect Michael Chandler, phenomenal competitor, love to watch him fight, but in this particular fight, I'm the undefeated heavyweight. But what about if you're, um, if you're not eating carbs and you're only eating fats and then your body hits a, like, a, a, like a keto and then it's only, it, it starts using different systems because you're only eating fats? You know what I think about keto? I think it's bullshit. But uh, I just don't, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's just not my thing. But like, in, you know, he's talking about only weight loss. He's talking about there's no difference between low fat and low carbs in weight loss. What he's not talking about is how physically healthy the person is. You know, maybe on fats, like special, especially natural fats and omega-3 fats, that's obviously way better for you mm. than a bunch of white bread. Mm. Just because you're the same weight doesn't mean that you're the same amount of muscle same health fact like markers i've got an intuition that carbohydrates is a no-no and if science is saying that fats and carbs are the same but then also science is saying that fats are better for you then we should like the carbs aren't good for you other yeah than what do we need them for they're, yeah they're not good for you other than energy eh they're just Plus, a bit more complex than sugar that food pyramid right you got fruits and vegetables at the top carbs down the bottom Fruit and vegetables have carbs in them. They are, they are, yeah. you know, they're and carbohydrates I'd it's as well. Just enough. Yeah, they're full of sugar as well. Like it's this, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And fruit's fantastic for you. Champ, and he's the local guy at a circuit who's been knocked out three times. Yeah, I don't have the answers, but I don't. Carb seems like an carb seems like an inflammatory, but I don't know. Like literally, I was looking at the potatoes in the shops today, and the way I think, I was thinking. It's not good for my body. Mm. I could be wrong, but that's just... no, I think you're probably right. And then I look at an avocado and I go, "Oh, that's perfect for my body." Mm. When you look up like the top acne-causing foods, it says white bread, white rice, white potatoes, and you're like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." It seems like uh, that uh, we got into carbs as a uh, we crave it and mm. it fills us up, <clears throat> but it doesn't seem to have any other. Please let me know what you think about that debate so I can improve my thinking also. And so I save the best till last. Maybe the biggest gym hero I've ever seen. So this guy is filming his Hercules lift. He shows us all the plates. Literally, all the plates. That's a lot if it's 20s. Yeah, I think there's 10s, 20s. Oh, then he I walks over to this poor man who is minding his own business, actually, you know, exercising literally at the preloading stage ready to lift and Jim Muppet tells him to move because he's blocking his shot. <gasps> oh. Oh. What, a, what a fucking lunatic. Yeah, I would not move. <laughs> I'd be like, no. Jim Hero then proceeds to do something. Yeah, mainly you would just say, fuck off, man. Yeah, I would just go, no. <laughs> film this oh. and then film... No. Why do you even put the camera there? He's like in the. Can't even see it. 
Why are you filming the mirror? Why didn't you put it behind you? Was that it? He's biting the towel. So that he could do a toe raise? I sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, like he's been a fucking dick. If he was minding his own business and he put all that weight on and he stood there and let his frame feel. Take the weight. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. something to that. You, you're subjecting your, you're standing tall, mm. uh, standing tall with good postures, uh, good in itself, under heaps of resistance. You're going to train that posture the muscles are gonna mm. solidify but um he's been a dick to do it make that guy get off and not do his set like how dare you Ho- horrible place to put your phone mm. what are you feeling is that the, is that a mirror yeah uh, <clears throat> guy's crazy if you're crazy enough to ask the guy to move ask him to film it too has he got two cameras on him too because he's got two angles here oh yeah oh yeah what the fuck's going oh. on oh Crazy. Um, yeah, because spotting the tower, that's gangster. And in case you are not jaw droppingly amazed at what you've just witnessed, here is a close up view of a gym hero in all his glory. Let's go, bro. What you got? soon. That's a wrap.